corner shortly. He's a little tied up at the doctors right now, so hopefully he's gonna be able to hop in anytime. Um, Hook, can you start the recording? Yeah, just uh... okay. Uh, so just to thank everybody to show up to this uh meeting, I know it's in the middle of the day for a lot of people, and some people are still at work, so I really appreciate you guys making the effort to show up. Um, so uh, the main reason why we call this meeting is uh, the registration is um, basically just uh was announced i think there's like a two day timer still left on it um so we i just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page and we make our final preparations for the arc league since now we have a timeline and it's coming up um the first if this league is anything like previous leagues um we probably will have like a, a qualifying round the first i think i believe like three matches or so uh it might be more this time since um I believe Kiki mentioned that I think the teams are all the way up to Kingdom 1500, if I'm not mistaken. So if that's the case, we'll, pro we'll probably have a few more matches. So the, the first couple um, we can still use as lead-in time to prepare, um, to finalize some of our, our tactics and stuff like that. And um, make sure that all of our gear and powers are uh, up to par. But the the main preparation that we need to get underway is equipment. Uh, since the patch has been released, equipment is basically the is the tiebreaker at this point. So most people probably have that. Most kingdom probably have the same type of commanders or people with similar commanders um, that will face at least like the stronger teams will. Um, since the equipment is just recently re uh, released basically the race to see who has the better equipment to get the leverage on the battlefield. So please work on equipment. Um, rally leaders and garrison, people who are going to do garrisons. Um, if you don't know who you are, then you should. Uh, if you ha haven't been assigned a garrison role, chances are you probably won't. Um, but if you have been assigned a garrison role, please make sure you get your equipment up to par uh blue and epic procs that's excellent that's what we want if you can throw in some legendaries that's even better but we want um blue and epics with uh, special procs on them the other thing is that um accessories is a huge 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 deal for um people who are doing garrisons and people who are doing uh rallies so um make sure you get those accessories done um if you need help you know mention it in the lead chat there are a lot of people grinding keeps if there's any extra drops or something they can you know send you a uh, pms to let you know to let you pick it up we need those uh accessories those are going to be critical for us it's um it might be very minor buffs but if you look at it throughout the the whole match just one or two percent here might mean the difference between you know 100 points to a thousand points in the final score and that's gone basically determine who wins and who uh who lose who who's who gets eliminated so that's going to be very very critical going forward please work on that uh gatherers make sure you guys work on your gathering gear uh same thing goes for the other players as well um blue and epics uh work on the accessories those are the things that's gonna be um a huge uh goal Gatherers, please get Const Constance. I think she's a blue commander that you can get in Expedition. She's huge. Um, and please work on Sundiak. Um, her 10% uh, uh, gathering bonus is also huge from a scoring standpoint as well. Um, the other thing I need you guys to do is, um, since some far our practice matches, especially if we have opponents that are not strong, gathering scores are not going to be huge. I need you to um, adjust your troop that you use to gather. And what I mean by that is play around with not just sieges, maybe use calves or something, or use the, uh, different setups, mainly because this time around, based on what we have experienced, what Kiku has been reporting, they are hunting gatherers. We are going to try to do something to uh, help out with that. 
I don't know how much help we can give you. Uh, it really depends on, you know, our opponents, uh, how much they're blitzing us at these structures. So you might have to gather with calves or, God forbid, infantry, but try to play around with your setup to see what is the setup that will give you the most optimal scoring when people are hunting you down. I know sieges are great. I know the the, the loads are incredible, but there's it doesn't do us any good if they die and you don't get to bring back the stuff that you gather. And you have to go under the premise that you're not going to get any help from us. We will try to give you help during the matches, but you have to go under the assumption that you might not get any help. So play around with your setup, see if you can optimize your score um, with different setups than what you had in the past with sieges and, and whatnot, um, and go from there. Uh, so the equipment is going to be big um, for everybody, um, mainly garrisons and rally leaders. Um, for all those who are doing open field, um, you also need accessories as well. Please don't ignore them. Um, put in the effort, guys, because usually the winners, you know, every team that has one arc are the ones that have gone the extra mile to do the small things. And the little things really add up to big things. Um, so get those gears on, especially your middle team. If you are a, you know, a side team player and you need to swarm, the Rage Burn uh, trinket is really good. Um, I think that's the, what's the other one? The other one is counter damage reduction. Is that correct? The silent Delaney's trial. Is that what it's called? Yeah. The silent, yes. The silent, yeah, the silent trial, which is the rage. And the other one is counter damage, the lane's amulet. Okay. So the, uh, the counter damage is n not too much of a priority for the side teams, but the rage burn definitely is. So if you have to choose and you're on the sides, um, go with the Rage Burn first. Um, from a garrison standpoint, you guys should both have both of them. Um, if you don't work on them, try to get them up. Um, the other thing was uh, the blue set, wind, windswept uh, set. That's really critical. The stats are not great on those, but the march speed is going to be huge. Um, so that's why we need those set to be crafted. So focus on that as well um the last thing i want to mention is the power level so we uh i think i've contacted everybody and i posted the agreement on the sides and stuff on the slides before we started the team or announced the official team um for players who are under those threshold work to get them up it's not a hard threshold it's not like if you don't hit 75 or 85 million we're going to keep you out of league play per se but work work on those because once we get to the harder matches um you are going to be taxed and what i mean by that is you're going to have to use massive amount of speed ups and speed ups right now are a premium because of the healing nerf um that's being applied to this kvk so work on your power plan accordingly um try to hit those benchmarks if not surpass them um for those I, I post up the slides in the S3 plans for those who are low spenders and free to play. Um, consider going this KVK purely T4. Um, that will give you, you know, re some resource to invest in some T5s later. And it also saves you on speed ups as well so that you, when you do build your T5, you can use them for leak. So plan it out accordingly. KVK is still the focus a 166 as a kingdom as a whole. Um, but I just want to give everybody a heads up that in order for us to be competitive, we need people's power to be relatively strong. Um, it's gonna, it, the matches are gonna consume a lot more troops, especially with Theodora doing AoE damage. So basically, swarms are gonna get like smashed. Uh, it's not like Constantine Charles Martel before, uh, where you're not you know your troop consumption is going to be a lot less so we have to prepare for that for the incoming onslaught and make sure that we have the proper amount of troops ready if not we have the proper amount of speed ups and we're prepared to use it so make sure you guys plan ahead with um, those two things so power equipment those are the two big things um the last point i want to make is um 
self evaluation. Uh, we are going to try. Um, I have Knight helping us. I have Hook, and all Tab is also going to help us to record footage on different lanes. If we have footage on your respective lanes, check the YouTube links. We are posting up. Um, it's going to be an S two data. Uh, we're going to have a channel that is exclusively for that. Check those YouTube things. Spend some time. Watch over your gameplay. Um, the leaders, Angel and myself, if we see something that is like that we need to point out, we will. If you guys see something and you feel awkward calling people out by name, that's fine. You don't have to do it. But you can mention it in our weekly briefing on things that we can improve as a whole so that people, when they, you know, they hear of you know some of our flaws and some of our shortcomings they will hopefully find a way to improve it we can throw that out as discussions in our weekly meetings we always have about like about 30 minutes to spare after we go through all the plans um, those are the areas that we can make optimization we can discuss together um, it's going to be a team effort going forward to get where we want to be so we need those E evals to be done on a personal level. We'll watch the gameplay, watch other people's. Um, what we're doing, maybe it's leadership that's making bad calls. You know, you're welcome to give us any critique. I'm welcome uh, to hear them. We're not perfect by any means. So anything that we can do to get us to progress further than where we were last season, we are going to take those steps to do them. So those are the three things that I want to emphasize going forward. Um, as you make your final prep, we we will. These matches are gonna be, I think, weekly. If I remember correctly, it's gonna be like rapid fire weekly. So attendance is gonna be also a critical element as well. Angel was scrambling many many matches, um, and some towards the very end, uh, trying to find replacement for rally leaders, garrisons, side players, etc. If you know ahead of time or you are unsure, please do the unselfish thing. Please put team first before your, um, you know, your participation and send a, a PM to the leaders, myself, uh, Angel, and just say, hey, you know what? I'm unsure about this weekend. I, you know, I would love to be there. I want to be there, but I can't 100% guarantee you might be better off finding someone who can commit fully as a backup plan. Um, that's something that the whole team will appreciate because it will, we had days, uh, I think our AVG match, we were scrambling to find rally leaders and garrison leaders, and we don't want to run into that scenario this, this time around. We have a very diverse group with lots of strong commanders who can step in. So just give us the notice and we'll do it because we want to progress as a team, as a whole. Um, we want to put the individual accolades aside. I mean, if they come along and you get like all the recognition that you get from uh, other people's YouTube or from what we do, that's great. I want to see it. You know, I want to see a lot of people who haven't gotten MVPs before to show up. I want to see people get recognized. But as a team, we want to progress. The end goal is for us to progress further than we're, where we did last season. So let's make a strong effort on that end. And I think the last thing I have left on my agenda list is that uh, every single member here has gone through the tryouts. We have selected you based on your performance. Uh, we left three flex slots open. Um, and these flex slots are probably going to be awarded to people who haven't done the tryouts. So before we actually do that and implement that because registration hasn't even started. I just want to know uh, to, to get a pulse of what the team feels, if that's okay. I know every single member here has gone through it, has gone through the attendance process, has gone through everything. And in some way, those three, the three last flex slots that are going to get in didn't have to go through that. And I know that's completely unfair. That's why I want to throw it out here to see what everybody thinks about that. The main reason why we use the three flex slots is, and I I have a few people in mind for them, and I'll throw the names out. I'll be completely transparent. Um, Zessie is one of them. Uh, Nightwolf might be one. 
Um, and the third one might go to uncle. These three slots haven't been determined, haven't been set in stone. Um, the reason why Zessie hasn't been part of the tryouts, as you all know, um, he was on probation for a while um, for, for going over the cap. Uh, we offer a redemption uh, for people who fight hard. We all know Zessie's reputation as a fighter and a willing participant to kill troops. I don't, uh, I don't think there's any chance that uh, he's going to skip out on this KVK at all. Um, but he has also mentioned to me that he doesn't know how his schedule is going to look like going forward. So we're not sure. But we, if he can participate, he will definitely be a help for us. Um, we all seen him play. So that, that's one of the candidates. The other candidates is Nightwolf. He has taken a lot of time and a lot of initiative. He could easily be on this team right now. But he has taken on the responsibility of trying to shoulder a second team in RVS. And I have a lot of admiration for someone who is willing to do that and put Kingdom first over self. Because he could easily say, you know what, I don't want to do this. You know, I don't know how far the RVS team will go. So I'm going to just look after myself and sign on to the main team. But he decided that he wasn't going to take that route. So I, if he, if we do make it into the second round and we do have a spot available, I would like to say one spot for Nightwolf if he can join this team. Yeah, he did that last time, right? Uh, yeah. That's cool with me. Oh. And the, the last person is Uncle. Um, Uncle... I contacted him before we even had tryouts. Um, he said that he loved to do the tryouts, loved to participate. Um, unfortunately, he lives in a time zone where he can't participate in any of our art matches because it's at 3 a.m. for him. Uh, and he has work the very next day. So it's incredibly taxing for him. So he mentioned that and he said, go find a replacement. Um, as far as the match goes, I think we do have a few that is in the 13 UTC and 16 UTC. Uh, Uncle has very strong commanders. He's, he is very helpful as a middle team player. He has the power. He has the commanders to support it. He has the gear. Unfortunately for him, his, uh, his work schedule doesn't allow for it. So those are the three people that I have in mind. Um, if you guys are completely against these three flex spots, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll go go ahead and move on without the flex spot. But I want to get what everybody uh, feeling towards it and our decision on the flex spots before we go ahead. Because like I said, you guys have all gone through the tryouts, all participated, have all been, you know, like fully in from the very get go. So I want to hear what your opinions are. So I, what, what I'll do with this is I will call down uh, all the names that are in here and we'll take a tally on the votes. Um, if you can't speak in Discord, you're welcome to PM me in di uh, Discord for the, the votes. Um, in case you are not comfortable saying it out loud in a public setting, that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, but I want to hear everybody's opinion on it. So let's start with the first person on my list, Honey Badger. Can I say something real quick? Yeah, uh, yes, host. I'll just say that, yeah, I think that's a great idea to have some alts if uh, they want to be alts. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I could be without troops or without healing at some point, so I think that's great. So, anyway, go on. And okay. I'm sure everybody trusts your judgment on who should come in and who shouldn't. Okay. Right, so um, I'll go through the list first. So, honey, honey badger, what's Yo. your opinion? What's your opinion about it? Uh, I'm fine with it. I have no problems with it. Okay. Uh, seven Valk. She's on a work call. Okay. I'll go down to the next person. All right, so we can skip Clink. He has PM me his opinion as well. All right, 
so let's see where were we so seven exposure <clears throat> I don't hear anything from Exposer. I'll go down to the next person. Alex, free to play? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Oh, Tab? Good here. Angel? Okay. Dizzy? Dizzy, probably driving. Dizzy, get uh, PM me what you think about it. Um, Fat King Dog. I remember him saying he was in a meeting at this time. Yeah, I think so too. So, uh, Fat King Dog, PM me what your opinions are. Uh, Hero. Uh, I agree. Uh, they deserve to be on the list. To be honest. Okay. Right, Holly Ho. Holly Ho, PM me what you think. Um, Hun Bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm all good on, on that. Okay. Uh, so Hook has commented Ice. We'll move on to the next subject. They deserve to be there. They're warriors. They know how to fight. They have the commanders. They're there when we need them. Uh, they're smart players. Just move on to the next subject, buddy. If anyone has a problem, tell them to PM you. <laughs> All right. Um, Lake Kess, send me the thing already. Uh, Lim, you have a problem with it? No, no problem. Okay. Pla Pala? Yeah, I'm fine with it as well. Okay. Uh, Red, the Ruthless... Good with me. Okay. Sam said, okay. Uh, War Eagle, I know you're in a meeting, uh, so PM me what you think. Oh, I'm, uh, it moved. I'm fine with it. Okay. Uh, Kiku said, okay. Uh, Zombie said, okay. Oh, Zessie, what do you think? No, I'm not okay with it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, I'm driving, so I'm on, I'm on mute. So... I'm agree. Okay. I'm no problem, Anis. Thank you. Thank you. So so far it's unanimous. Everybody who PM me said they're okay with it. I, uh, except for Zessie, he he's the only one that disagree with his participation level. So yes, yeah, it's, it's strange. Yeah, I disagree, but I'm <laughs> attending here. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, go, that's all I have to say. Um, so going forward, that's what we'll do. Um. Like I said, we're oh, going kind of to forward, Doc. Do you know, Osiris League, if they do it the same format as before, 500 and, it's 512 alliances that go through. Yeah. But now the realm has gone up 200. So it's going to be less than one alliance per kingdom getting through if it's still 512. And that's surely based on power. Yeah. It's, so it's, we, it's... we need to make sure we retain a lot of power, even though we, we go hard on war. But we still need to make sure we don't, you know, do unnecessary deaths and all that. Yes. So it's going to be hard to get a second team. But if those three sign up to RV, they can boost their power as well. So we can try to get a second team in. Yes. So um, just remember what I said. The footage we're going to put up, please watch it. Please help each other. Um, especially if, like, let's say, we are going to try to assign groups of people. And what I mean by that is, like, we are going to try to keep it constant so you guys de develop more chemistry together. Um, the four people that are going to man the structure, chances are they're probably going to man the same structure the, the following week. Um, if you are a sub, we are going to put you into similar spots so that you don't have to learn different spots. Um, we are going to try to do that. Um, Angel is going to try to do more center uh, middle team meetings to help out the middle team and their coordination as well. So please make sure you guys attend that. And like I said, if we really want to be champions, we really want to get further than what we did, we have to put in the legwork. Um, there's no no way around it. We 
just have to put in the extra effort. So grind the gear, look, and if you already done, you already got your pieces done and stuff like that. You know, asking Leak if you're you're do, working on like a third commander or fourth set or fifth set or whatever it is, you don't need it. You know, asking Leak to see if anybody else need it, help each other, and um, let let let's get it. Let's get this done. Uh, I we have a very strong core player uh, team with lots of power now. The commanders have pretty much leveled out across the board. Everybody's got some pretty decent commanders everywhere. So let's do let's do the work that it takes and let's. Let's go out there and really smash it this season. I I have a very strong feeling we'll do extremely well. Oh, I forgot to ask Zombie Legion. What did you think? I skipped you. Okay. <laughs> but remember right. the, the match against uh, what's his name, Ronnie. Where we just all just fought in the middle and everyone was pissed about it. Yeah. I wonder if there's gonna be any rule changes. Just because we'll have to send a mail after that match. <laughs> they'll 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 probably have something in there where they they're able to disqualify us if they want to or something like that. They'll probably put a like a clause in there. It's it, it really didn't re affect anything with the, the lead play. It just affected people's betting, that's all I did. Well they just just need to do is not show people the brackets where you end up. I mean, you can figure it out. But once they show the brackets, then people are like, well, if I lose, I won't have to go against this team. Yeah. If they hide the brackets, you know, it's fixed. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Um, Angel, uh, I have one question. So this two, I've never signed up for this. Angel's not here, bro. Um, well, maybe one of you guys can answer it. I have never signed up for this. There's a two-day clock on it. It's so after the two play clock runs out, that's when it, we sign up for it, right? Is that right. correct? Two days time, you're gonna have another cool down where you've got three to four days to make a team. Okay, and click register, and then that team will just register the people. Like it's not gonna change after the sign up, yeah. And then after that, every time you, when you register, it will show you the rank where you are at the 512. And if you're not within the 512 ranking at the end. You're not in the league. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Just make sure you guys, uh, uh, I'll give you some Discord warning, but if you guys are going to go on vacation or do something or something, make sure you're in before the 48 hour clock runs out. And yeah. And also, they always do uh, 32 seeded um, alliances, the first top 32 alliances. Yep. So they only so, put one seed per uh, bracket. So if you are in Raft and you're not going to be able to rejoin Raft in like a two-day period because you're going to like in the middle of the desert having your pandemic vacation or something, please let um, myself know or Angel know or any of the R4 know in Raft so that we won't kick you. I know we're moving, removing people for runes and rewards and all kinds of stuff. So um, if you're in the, that unique situation, please let us know ahead of time. All right, I don't have anything else, so I uh, I appreciate everybody showing up, and like I said, I was gonna make it short. So thank you again. Enjoy. Thank you. Have a good one. See you when the pass open. Yep. Later. Uh, Hook, will you post that video up in the S?